Nostrils rejoice in delight, mouths water in anticipation of their very first bite. While all of your guests look on with desirous eyes, you masterfully mix up the cookie dough and add rich chocolate chips to 12 gooey chunks. Under the watchful eyes of a kitchen of friends, you slide the soon-to-be cookies into a piping hot oven. The delectable aroma wafts through the house. A huge empty but soon-to-be full cookie dish sits in clear view of everyone. Your recipe book lies on the counter next to that empty dish, open to a page with photos of luscious chocolate chip cookies for all to behold. Eleven minutes ticks by. The time finally arrives. You pull the cookies out of the oven. Bodies converge. Hands dive in. Mouths fill. Those cookies disappear in a two-minute frenzy. Now stop. Think real estate, not cookies. Imagine building anticipation for your new listings like the mouths that were watering while those cookies baked in the oven. Consider getting out of robot mode. Stop doing what every other agent does when they list a home, immediately putting up that yard sign, throwing it in MLS, uploading it to a few websites, and running a few ads. Instead, create an appetite for your new listings before you let anyone take a bite. Build excitement and pent up demand in advance. Don't just open the door and say, hey, I listed this one yesterday, so everyone come on in. Instead, make everyone wait until you say okay. Listing homes and just tossing them out on the market is what I call hope marketing. Put up a sign, submit it to MLS, run a few ads, cross your fingers and hope it sells. Instead, when you list a new home, don't put it in MLS right away. Don't put up a sign right away. Don't start running ads right away. Start by making calls to other agents. Extolling this new listing is one of the most saleable listings you've ever had. Think of this as pre-marketing, building excitement and anticipation before you allow the home to even be seen, just like with those cookies while they were still in the oven before they could be eaten. Your objective is to get the other agents excited. Remember, an aggressive price and seller motivation are critically important to these agents more than the features of a home. Realtors want to show homes they can sell. The last thing they want is to disappoint buyers who fall in love with a home that sellers won't sell at a fair price. So. When you call agents in this pre-launch mode, emphasize that your sellers are highly motivated, very reasonable, and anxious to sell. Be specific. I always used to ask my sellers if I could share their actual reason for selling and mention how motivated they were. I told them how important this was and suggested that they put themselves in a buyer's shoes. Would they be more likely to want to see a home with motivated, anxious sellers or ones who were just testing the market? When you're calling other agents in this pre-launch mode, let them know you want to give them an opportunity to call their buyers first and make those buyers feel special with an opportunity to see the home first before it's ever offered to the general public. Buyers love it, and it makes other agents look good to their buyers because it makes them look like they have an inside track. I want you to never forget that everyone loves to have first shot at anything and to have the first opportunity to act before anyone else. One thing I did was to say the home would be available for buyers to start seeing the weekend after next and that the sellers intended to sell it that weekend without any fuss or muss, accepting the first reasonable offer that came in. I always cleared this with my sellers. I told them this was so, so important because it set a time frame in which people perceived this home was going to sell. This really got other agents excited and made my opening weekend a huge success with tons of showings, frequently resulting in offers and sometimes a sale. Year after year, this pre-launch marketing of my new listings was one of the most effective strategies I developed for selling homes. I viewed it as the first of many steps in a creative, well-thought-through marketing plan instead of just putting up a sign, submitting it to MLS, running a few ads, crossing my fingers, and hope it sells. This is Greg Haig. Would you like to learn some non-traditional real estate strategies? Strategies that could even turn a brand new agent into a listing machine? Well, come on over and check out realestatemavericks.com and the990company.com where we're writing the creative playbook on how you can win in real estate.